Welcome back. Valentine's Day isn't the only day on February 14th. It's actually also National Organ Donor Day. It comes with the aim of increasing awareness about organ donations and the lives saved through organ donations nationwide. In the U.S., more than 120,000 people are waiting for a life-saving organ donation. So we're joined this morning by OSF Healthcare's Heart Failure Medical Director, Dr. Barry Clemson. He joins us live this morning with more about how OSF is being recognized for their efforts. Doctor, good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us today. Well, Doctor, tell us about the heart transplant program at OSF and how this impacts patients. Well, you know, I was on uh, a year or two ago and we discussed this because the program was being rebuilt and getting ready to reignite. So um, it's almost a year old, not quite. We did our first transplant late in February of 2021, and we've done 10 transplants since then, the last one in the first week of January. So we're well on our way, very successful, and it really impacts Central Illinois because now the patients who have end-stage heart failure, need advanced treatments such as transplant, have a center to um, be evaluated and go to so they don't have to travel far away to big cities in the, in the surrounding area. And Dr. Clemson, thousands of people die each year waiting for a transplant. Talk about the importance uh, for people to be willing to be organ donors. Well, obviously, uh, until we figure out how to make our own organs and build them and, and genetic uh, modeling, and you know that stuff is in research and coming, the only way to get a transplant is to have a, a human organ. So uh, clearly we need donors to be able to meet that supply um, and demand issue. And it's uh, always been a bit of a struggle um, because the system's complex. Uh, obviously something, at least in terms of hearts and lungs, has to happen catastrophic for an organ to be available for a, a recipient. So without organ donation, there really isn't um, transplantation to the extent that we need it. So it's critically important. And in saying that, it's really important for those who wish to be donors to make sure that they have discussed this with family members so the family knows that these are their wishes if something tragic would um, you know happen to them at some point in time. Yeah, and let's talk about that a little further. I imagine these are tough conversations to have with families. Do they have to register or do something specific? Um, in Illinois and in many states, the easiest way to, to sign up to be an organ donor is when you get your driver's license. Um, it's a it's a pretty much mandatory question. Um, you, you check a little box. It puts a, a message on your uh, driver's license that you're an organ donor. Um, unfortunately, in in many places in the United States, that's not legal and binding. So, if family doesn't know that someone has the intention to be an organ donor, donation um, person in, in these you know tragic times that may occur then you know, they're left with, well, what do we do? Would, this was never discussed, we don't know. Um, there could be religious issues, other beliefs. And so it gets to be very difficult for family to say, okay, yes, we're gonna donate organs. But it's much easier when they know that's what their loved one really wanted. So it takes a lot of pressure off of them. Yeah, well, Dr. Barry Clemson, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Absolutely, it's a wonderful to be with you again. Absolutely, and we will share all this information on our website, ciproud.com.